Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I want to show you how to test HTML emails using Cypress. The full source code is available on GitHub at bakhmutov slash Cypress email example. And I also have written a blog post which we just published today testing HTML5 emails using Cypress. But sometimes it's better to see it once than to hear or read about it 100 times. So let's look at this repository and let me start the app so we can see it in action. If I go to localhost 3000 and the page opens, the page is a standard registration form where you provide your name, your email, select company size, and then you click get confirmation code. So this confirmation code the form goes to the backend in our application. It invokes this post hook and we get the name and the email that we just entered. We respond with 200, but then we send a confirmation email to that user to confirm the email. In this case, I'm hard coding confirmation code. It doesn't really matter. So we're sending an email and we're sending both the text and the HTML variants. If my client is text only, it will open plain email. And if my client supports HTML, it will show HTML email. So in our case, the email is sent using the emailer class. I'm using node mailer, which is very popular NPM module. I can grab SMTP, which is simple mail transfer protocol, host and port, or use local host and port 777. And then I'm creating transport and I'm using this transport to actually send email. So notice here I'm getting the emailer and I'm sending emails. What's the email like? So the email is uh, read from the folder right here. So I create this email using Maisel project. It's pretty complicated because it tries to be cross-platform as portable as possible so that most email clients can view this accurately. So I can actually open these emails in my browser. This is the email the HTML5 client will show to the user once they receive it. Contains different fields, the confirmation code, and confirm registration that look at the corner points at localhost 3000 slash confirm, which is right here. Okay. So now we want to actually make sure that this form arrives correctly, is displayed, this URL is correct, this uh, confirmation code is present, and then when we fill this confirmation code here, that actually shows the correct thing. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, if we look at how we're sending the emails right here, we can kind of guess. We are sending the emails through SMTP server. Interesting. So when we run things, and right now, like we're not even sending anything because I'm not using my company's SMTP, right? Right now it's not sending anything because it's trying to use localhost 7777. In production, it'll be your company's SMTP server. So while we test, right? Let me open Cypress. While we test, we can spawn our own SMTP server at that port instead of production server. We can spawn it directly from Cypress. So if I go to Cypress plugin file, typically, or <laughs> I should say all the time, Cypress specs run in the browser, but Cypress plugin file right here runs in a node process on a local machine. So you can use NPM module called SMTP tester. This creates a local SMTP server that can be used for lightweight testing. So we can load this module from the plugin file. We can create it right here. So it binds to localhost and the same port we expect to use in our email sending code. And then from that server, we can, for example, bind to the email callback or on every event, we can actually store the email by the addressee, okay? We can see when, when Cypress started, it actually open a mail server. So we know the mail server is running right now. So what happens in our test? So I have a couple of tests. 
let's look at the spec one because it kind of does the whole thing. So right now I have a couple tests. I have um, send an email, send an HTML email, a reset email, just to make sure that whatever emails we stored in that test SMTP server are removed before each test. This is the interesting test, right? And let me pause right after we visit the site. So I'm gonna click on the spec. So right now we're showing our application confirmation page. What do we do next? Well, we fill the form and we even can observe a post request that goes to the backend using Sci intercept. And what do we do? We get all the way here. After we click confirmation, we go back to SMTP server running in our plugins. And notice this is my task to reset all emails, which just removes the object with all emails. But we can also say get last email and we give the expected email, which returns either the email we captured right here when our application sent it to SMTP port or we return now. Okay. So let's maybe step. Okay. We're filling all emails and fields. We're clicking get confirmation code. We're taking screenshots so we can actually store the screenshots automatically on Cypress dashboard or on our CI server so we know how the form looks. Okay. We can confirm that the message is received. We can confirm the application automatically goes to slash confirm. And here's the interesting stuff. Okay. Here's where we go to the, execute the task. Get last email for joe at acme.io. The same email we entered in the confirmation field. Now, when the task returns, it returns an object. Okay. From that object, we'll get its HTML property. So remember, email object, we have plain text and we have HTML object. So when we read it, Notice we're passing it to then callback, and then we take the document, the current document in this iframe, and we're writing the HTML of the email we receive in the inbox into that document, which will remove existing HTML and replace it with HTML of the email. So let's see what happens. Boom. We grab the HTML that we received through SMTP server that was addressed to Joe at acme.io and we went back to our iframe and replaced wherever the page was there with that HTML. So we can see how HTML looks. It's a real HTML, so why not we use the browser to render it? And then we can take a screenshot. So again, at the end of the test, we'll have a form screenshot, the HTML email screenshot. Then we can confirm that it contains the expected code I'm using a pause of two seconds in a real test without uh, step by step. It, this test goes way too quickly. Then it contains confirm registration. We click on it and this form goes to the localhost 3000 slash confirm. So if our users receive an email and click on the button, it goes to the right URL. And what do we do here? We confirm. The path name, so the local host profile slash confirm. We get the confirmation code and we type it in. Now it's like a real test. And then we can resume, take a screenshot, and we can confirm that it's a valid confirmation code. So this is how we test full cycle. It still is locally. So in a future blog post and videos, I'll show how to test third party email services. But for now, this is pretty good. We confirming. But our SMTP standing uh, code works and we can receive emails and make sure the emails work as well.